this is the another example on solving the system of homogeneous equations first of all we have to write the matrix form c so the matrix form of given system of equations system of equations is ax is equal to o take it equation number 1 okay what is a coefficient matrix how can we write capital a in the first row we have to write the coefficients in the first equation clearly given system is a homogeneous system because all constants in the right side are zero and we have we are observing that four equations with four variables is given to you so that's why coefficient matrix is a 4 by 4 matrix so 1 1 minus 2 3 these are the coefficients of the first equation uh, coefficients of the first equations and what are the coefficients in the second equation 1 minus 2 1 minus 1 next 4 1 5 minus 5 8 and last equation is 5 minus 7 2 minus 1 x y z w is equal to column null matrix all are zeros so consider the coefficient matrix A and we have to find out its rank by reduce it to echelon form C. Here the coefficient matrix A is equal to, so once I can write the coefficient matrix A here, 1, 1, minus 2, 3, next 1, minus 2, 1, minus 1, next 4, 1, minus 5, 8 next 5 minus 7 2 minus 1 so just apply the row operations and try to reduce it to echelon form so r1 what is the echelon form by using this first pivot element we have to make this below three elements to zero so r2 implies r2 minus r1 and what about next r3 implies r3 minus since here we have 4 you should multiply the first row with 4 so 4 r1 okay what is the next r4 implies r4 minus 5 r1 okay 5 r1 so write the elements of r2 here 1 minus 2 1 minus 1 to avoid the numerical calculations it is better to write the simplification before writing the matrix okay in my opinion this is the best method to avoid the numerical calculations uh, i am writing r2 write the r1 1 1 minus 2 3 subtract both rows so whenever you are subtracting the elements uh, you have to change the signs of the second elements second row elements so minus becomes plus plus becomes minus 1 minus 1 0 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 1 minus 3 it would be minus 4 what is r3 write r3 blindly here 4 1 minus 5 8 see here what is the uh, 4 r1 multiply the first row with 4 so 4 ones are 4 4 minus 8 4 threes are 12 subtract the elements so 4 minus 4 0 1 minus 4 minus 3 minus 5 plus 8 plus 3 and 8 minus 12 it would be minus 4 last row write the r4 as usually 5 minus 7 2 minus 1 so multiply the first row with 5 5 5 5 2's are 10 negative sign is there 5 3's are 15 subtract the elements 5 minus 5 0 minus 7 minus 5 minus 12 2 plus 10 12 minus 1 minus 15 minus 16 so with this above operations coefficient matrix a becomes to how first row is same row 1 plus 1 minus 2 3 second row is 0 minus 3 3 minus 4 third row is 0 minus 3 3 minus 4 last row is 0 minus 12 12 minus 16 okay now by using 
this second diagonal element we have to make we have to reduce this both elements to zero okay don't forget it so clearly we are observing that by dividing the r2 in r2 with 3 r3 with 3 r4 with 4 you will get last two three rows are same okay otherwise you can use that method also don't worry what about r2 r2 not r2 it is r3 r3 minus r2 and r4 implies r4 minus 4 r3 4 not r3 this is r2 see here with this step the above matrix a becomes to how 1 1 minus 2 3 0 minus 3 3 minus 4 0 0 0 0 because this both rows are same if we subtract the same rows you will get 0 so last row and second row are also same we are getting last two rows are zeros clearly we are observing that a is in echelon form now and the number of non-zero rows in a is the rank so rank of a is equal to 2 so from the echelon form we observe that rank of a is equal to which is the number of non-zero rows but from the given system of equations we are observing that number of variables n is 4 x y z w four variables are involved that's why n is equal to four and we are observing that rank of a is less than n so that's why given system has an infinite number of non-zero solutions non-zero solutions are also known as non-trivial solutions we are going to find out that infinite number of non-zero solutions now for that purpose from the last matrix we get therefore the given system of equations the given system of equations can be written as can be written as how x plus y minus 2z plus 3w is equal to 0 this is the first equation first equation is similar equation there is no change in the first equation thus the next second equation becomes given second equation becomes minus 3y plus 3z minus 4w is equal to 0 since this element is 0 0 into x is 0 that's why x is not present here now we have to find out the number of linearly independent solutions so number of linear linearly independent solutions of the independent solutions of the system given system is already i told you in the procedure also n minus r what is n number of unknowns what is r rank of a okay it would be 2 so 4 minus 2 is 2 so given system has two linearly independent solutions it means that among the four variables x y z and w we have to take two variables to two parameters in general we can take last two variables is equal to two different parameters okay let what are the last two parameters z and w okay, i will take z is equal to k1 and uh, w is equal to k2 okay suppose n minus r is only one then we have to take one variable is equal to one parameter don't forget it now we have to find out y value in terms of k1 and k2 and x value is also in terms of k1 and k2 so however from the third equation minus 3y what is 3z it would be 3k1 don't forget one important thing k1 and k2 are the non-zero parameters minus 4k2 w is nothing but 4k2 okay we need the value of y so minus 3y is equal to 4k2 minus 3k1 just i am taking these both terms to right side and what about y y is nothing but you can cancel the negative sign also again you will get 3k1 minus 4k2 by 3k1 minus 4k2 by 3 this is the y value now i will replace y value z value and w value in equation number 2 so you will get x value by giving the different values for k1 and k2 you will get the different solutions since k1 is a parameter 
given system has infinite number of solutions that is the processor see i will write the x value this side see see from equation number 2 implies x is equal to minus y plus 2z minus 3w minus 3w replace all y z w values what is y value 3k1 minus 4k2 by 3 since it has negative sign i will write as 4k2 minus 3k1 by 3 plus what is z value z value is k1 that's why you will get 2k1 what is k2 value oh, sorry w value k2 it is negative 3k2 so x value becomes 3 is the lcm 4k2 minus 3k1 so 3 2s are 6k1 3 3s are 9 negative 9k2 so x becomes one third of what are k1 6k1 minus 3k1 it is 3k1 what about k2 4k2 minus 9k2 it is negative 5k2 so finally x is equal to x y z w is the required solution so what is x one third of 3k1 minus 5k2 okay what is y value one third of 3k1 minus 4k2 z value is k1 w value is k2 this is the required general solution this is not only solution this is the general solution because it contains two parameters whenever parameters are involved in the solution then it can be taken as general solution by giving different values for k1 k2 given system has infinite number of solutions that is the logic okay thank you very much in the next video i will give some more examples on solving system of equations bye